Two men jailed over the shooting murder of another man at a Sydney service station have had their convictions overturned on appeal. Ahmed Fada was gunned down in 2003 in a crime believed to be linked to a long-running conflict between rival families. But new evidence from the cleric Sheikh Taj el-Din al-Halali has cast doubt over the reliability of a key witness. In broad daylight on a busy road in Punchbowl, Ahmed Fada was shot more than 20 times. The 25-year-old and another man, Bassem Saeed, had just pushed a four-wheel drive to a service station. Bassem Saeed later identified Ramzi Uwad and Nassam El Zayat as the gunmen. What the trial didn't hear is that police had enlisted the help of Muslim cleric Sheikh Taj Eldin Al Halali. Eight months after the shooting, the key witness met with Sheikh Al Halali. In a sworn statement, the Imam recalls the conversation. He says Bassem Saeed told him, I assure you and I swear by Allah to you that I did not recognise the killers. The police do not believe me and they continue to insist and put pressure on me. My family and I are under pressure from everyone. A detective made a note of the conversation, but this was not passed on to the DPP or to legal teams for the accused. The Crown didn't seek to cross-examine Sheikh Al-Halali during the appeal. Justice Bruce James said if the fresh evidence had been available at the trial and had been used in the cross-examination of Bassam Saeed, a further serious blow would have been dealt to Bassam Saeed's credibility. Despite their legal win, neither Uwad nor Al Zayat will be released from prison. They received life sentences over a separate attack, the murders of two people killed when a Greenacre house was sprayed with bullets two weeks before the punch bowl shooting. An appeal by them and their co-offenders over this incident has been dismissed. Carl Herr, ABC News.